What's going on, you guys? We're the Chicago Brew Crew. As always, I'm your host, Mike Moreno, and I'm here with beer enthusiast, Josh Stern. How's it going? We're here at the Little Village Cerveceros, which is a local home brewing group, and this is basically their headquarters. Let's go check it out. Hey, welcome to the um, casa. <laughs> Let's go brew some beers. <laughs> This, uh, this is some of the Little Bit of Ferrecero crew. Um, my name is Abdul Aziz, and uh, this is my house. I'm Jorge, and I'm mostly the core of the group, but there's a couple others that uh, you know, are part of it, but we all uh, enjoy getting together to brew some beer. I'm Paulina. I hang out. I hang out with you. <laughs> yeah, good morning. My name is Cesar. This is early. <laughs> so, you know, I don't think anybody should be drinking beer right now. Especially if they gotta go to church for a first communion celebration <laughs> right now. So don't tell my wife. <laughs> Alright, so we're just waiting for the pot to get up to 148. That's our steeping temperature. What's it at right now? Um, we're at 140 right now. So with the steeping grains, this is going to add um, color, some fermentable sugars. It's going to help with um, mouthfeel and head retention. Um, depending on, you know, each each grain has a different mission in the batch. So, um, but two row is kind of the, the base of all all beer. Looking good. So you put this, you put it in like a little cheesecloth sock here. You let it sit for half an hour, 45 minutes, so all the sugars and flavors can, you know, be extracted from the malt. And um, you pull it out. You do whatever you want with it. The uh, crystal 20 and the carapils. Uh, three quarters of a pound of crystal 20 and a pound of carapils. Get the grains from your local um, brewing supply okay. store. Uh, there's a place, Brewing Grow, on Morgan um, uh, that has most of the brewing stuff you'll need, most of the grain, most of the malt extract that you'll need. Um, hops. There's also a place called Brew Camp that's like way more so on like Damon. Uh, are we good to go? Bev Art is real cool too. Yeah. They're like on a hundred and first in Western. Oh yeah, they have a lot and of the back the guy that brews there, he gives classes. Oh, okay. And his name is Greg, I believe. And then like the guys he has working his shop, they're yeah, I mean you just walk in, you tell them what you want. And they they've been brewing for years. Yeah, so now that we put the grains to seed for 45 minutes, we just gotta wait. <laughs> um, so that's a big part of brewing is a lot of weed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is usually when we drink beer and jump jokes. So uh, we're almost getting to the point where our steeping grains have been steeping for 45 minutes. So we'll get to the zero mark. What's going to happen then is we're going to remove the grains from the water. At that point, the water would have extracted the hot water would have extracted some of the characteristics from the grains. Um, at that point, we're ready to pick up the fire and get this uh, water up to boiling, to the boiling point. Um, at that point is when we can start the schedule, which is usually an hour long boil. Once we get this up to boiling point, um, we can start adding some of the extract. So the extract that we have is uh, a light extract. Um, and that's what, uh, what the yeast is going to end up uh, using to ferment the beer. Extract is pretty much the job's done for you. It's like you get all the sugar, you, all the sugars that are in these grains get extracted into this. Right. Uh, so it's kind of a shortcut. Uh, just a way to get yourself introduced. Or, I mean, there's some great beers that you can make with that. Right? But, but but eventually, you want to start extracting your own uh, fermentables from the grains, which is a longer process, but you have more control over the end product. Essentially, like there's a couple things that come into play, right? We 
one with using extract. You know, have you seen a lot of like um, the shoots? They have like a white IPA. Yeah. And that's like an IPA that's just almost clear, right? That color you can't get while using extract. So you're gonna see one. Yeah, I mean, so you get what you can do. You can do really pale beers. You can do like white bottle over like this. We're adding maltodextrin some of this to the beer because this is going to be a thickening agent. But this becomes irrelevant once you start doing um, uh, all grain beer because you can just add, a, you know, you can add extra malt to your mash. They're going to do the same thing essentially. So this is pretty me, you know, pretty halfway in the scale of how hop, I mean, how much bitterness hops impart. Um, they usually range from, you know, from the lower digits, like two, three, four percent, to maybe 14, 15, 16 percent. Mm. And it'll tell you on the, on the so alpha acid, you know, it'll, the higher the alpha acid is, the hoppier, uh, or the, the, bit, the more bitter it imparts to the beer. So this one's at a 6.7 percent, so it's, it's right in the middle. And Cascade is a really, really wonderful smelling hop. Uh, those are pellets. Um, it's basically just basically ground up hops, compressed into pellets, and they're very it smells great. 